information this afternoon involving criminal charges against Detroit City Councilman Andre Spivey. He and a member of his staff are charged with conspiracy to commit bribery and are accused of accepting $35,000 in bribe payments. 7 News reporter Brian Abel is live with the details of the charges and what the filing indicates. Brian? Well, Alan, instead of an indictment, these charges came in the form of an information filing, which by all indication means that Spivey either has or plans to plead guilty. Detroit Councilman Andre Spivey charged by federal prosecutors with conspiracy to commit bribery. The federal government alleges Spivey and a member of his staff named in the charges as public official A corruptly accepted over $35,000 in bribe payments between 2016 and 2020 with the intent to be influenced and rewarded in connection with votes over an industry that was under review by the council. In 2018, prosecutors say Spivey accepted a $1,000 cash bribe from an undercover law enforcement agent. The details revealed in an information filing Different from an indictment, according to former U.S. Prosecutor Anjali Prasad. If I have filed an information, it means as a prosecutor, I've worked with your attorney. We've agreed to what charges you are agreeing to be charged with, and you're going to plead guilty. He is uh, essentially waiving his right for the evidence to go before a grand jury. Today, reaction from Mayor Mike Duggan posting on his Facebook page, this is a sad day for Detroit and a sad day for Councilman Spivey and his family. We do have a process in this country where people are presumed innocent until proven guilty. Councilman Spivey is entitled to that presumption until he has his day in court. And if Spivey does plead guilty, it'll be the second time that a councilman has done so in the past three months on some sort of bribery charges. You may remember back in May, former councilman now Gabe Leland pled guilty to misconduct in office for receiving $7,500 in cash for campaign contributions. We should also add, Alan, that we did reach out to Spivey's attorney multiple times today. Those messages went unanswered. Reporting live in Detroit, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. Yeah, not a good look for city council. We'll see what happens moving forward. Brian, thanks for that live report.